Good morning guys. I don't have a lot of work to do today. Um, I just have to bobtail over to a place, pick up an empty trailer, go get it filled, bring it back to the place I grabbed it. And then I'm pretty close to being out of hours after that, I'm pretty sure. So I would have liked to reset in Calgary, but it looks like I'm going to end up doing it in Edmonton. We'll see, but I'll keep you updated. Well guys, I just left Edmonton. I went and picked up my uh, my trailer, empty trailer. I'm bringing it to White Court, Alberta, and then bringing it back to where I grabbed it from. And I have seven hours and 10 minutes left on my clock before I have to do a reset. And it's gonna take me another hour and 45 minutes to get there, and then two hours back, plus the time it takes to load when I get there, and drop the trailer when I come back. And then after that, I'm off for 36 hours. Left curve ahead. Thank you, Samantha. That's my uh, GPS. I call her Samantha because that's the name uh, in the unit under that voice. There's a there's a guy's voice as well. And it sucks because I have a an ex-girlfriend named Samantha. And now here I am taking directions and orders again from her. <laughs> That's all right. I just got to make sure that while I'm driving with this container that I stay closer to this white line. I mean, I usually do anyways, but uh, this is called a Tritum trailer. It's got three axles on the back. But I don't know if that's the cause of the little, little problem. It's not really a problem. It's just that my trailer is sitting a tiny bit crooked. It's like, you know, eight, six, eight inches over to one side compared to my truck. And I'm pretty sure it's just the alignment on the tires that are doing that. I see this all the time. I've been with another uh, another person with my company who had that same problem. He said, you just gotta make a really good sharp turn and it straightens back out. So we'll wait till that happens. He said, it's nothing to worry about. So today is nice and warm. Uh, well, warmish, it's 11 degrees. And I got a little bit of cool air going on me in the vents here. But in a big metal truck, it, it, it does heat up even at 11 degrees. Um, Back now, curve ahead. what I'm not looking forward to is the uh, the trucker's tan. You guys heard of a farmer's tan, right? It's like, I used to get the farmer's tan on my last job. You wear a t-shirt all the time and your arms and face and neck and everything get tanned up except for your upper body. Um, a trucker's tan is sort of the same thing, but worse. Uh, the whole left side of your body gets tanned, except for obviously your shirt and stuff, but like your left arm, your left hand, left side of your neck, left side of your face. These are the things that get tanned because you're sitting by the left window. And if the sun is on you, you get a good tan on the one side of your body. So it kind of looks funny. So. I guess I, I gotta look forward to that. It doesn't happen on the right because the, the whole inside of the truck blocks the sun, but it's inevitable, it's going to happen. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with my 36 hours off. I mean, I can still drive off-duty uh, bobtailing without a trailer, it's called off-duty driving. Um, so I know that I'm gonna probably go to the grocery store that's a bumpy road. I'm going to go to the grocery store and uh, buy a little bit more food. And uh, probably find a Wi-Fi source so I can start uploading the video that you're watching now, plus uh, a couple other ones. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll go to a Flying J because uh, I can get internet there all the time if that one has internet, but so far everyone I've been to seems to have internet, so that's good. Yeah, I'm probably gonna watch some movies.
Well, I just uh, I just picked up the load and I have a tri-axle, which means uh, it has three axles on the trailer instead of two, which means that I am legal to carry, to be gross, everything, the truck, trailer, and the freight and everything, hundred and I think it's 105,000 pounds instead of the 80,000. Um, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not fully loaded like that either um, but I do have enough weight on here that's gonna be my heaviest load I've ever um, hauled so I'm really gonna have to uh, pay attention and stay back from cars because my stopping distance is gonna be so much more because of that um, but the highway that I'm going on at least coming this way from Edmonton was relatively clear so I'm not worried about it at all um, but it will be another learning experience having to deal with this type of weight and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just bringing it back to the place that I grabbed the trailer from and, uh, and then I get to reset. So that's cool. So I'm going to go and do that because I really, really, uh, I just want to like go somewhere and have another shower. And I think I'm going to go and have a sit down meal tonight somewhere. Something really nice. So anyways, off I go. Well guys, I'm done my day's work. It was a relatively short day for a truck driver. Um, it was only a six hour day or something like that. So it wasn't too bad. And uh, so I went to Walmart and I picked up some more groceries and stuff uh, for my reset. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, because I honestly am a little bit burnt out after doing 70 hours in a week uh, so I'm just gonna watch movies I'm gonna edit videos I'm gonna upload them I don't have to stay at a flying J because at the terminal where I am right now um, for my company there's actually a shower and pretty good Wi-Fi so I can do all that here so that'll be good so I'm not gonna film tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be considered a day off I don't film on my days off it's sort of my day to do nothing away from everything um, so I guess I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a good one.